My name is Mike Lingle, and I'm launching a startup to solve traffic. It's called R Share, and the idea is that people earn rewards for not driving alone. And we're going to make it profitable. That's kind of the secret sauce. Uh, I'm a longtime entrepreneur. I've started a bunch of companies. One of the companies I've started in the presentation space had an exit. I've spent the last decade working with other founders on their fundraising, their growth strategy, their financial projections. Um, and I actually tried to do something like this a few years ago, uh, but the technology has improved um, and kind of the state of the market has improved. And I think there's a real opportunity to solve traffic right now. And basically, I think we can all agree that traffic uh, is a problem. This is an actual picture. Uh, I have sat in this traffic uh, and it's projected to get worse, right? Population is growing, vehicle miles, tra miles traveled are growing, but infrastructure isn't going as quick quickly. And that leaves a gap, right? So there's a real opportunity here. Um, and what we're trying to do is to create a profitable economy to solve traffic. And really what I mean by that, there are three pieces when we align the incentives of the people in the economy. And you can kind of think of like a country's economy. Like I'm in the United States, so you can think of the United States economy. The first is that new money needs to be coming in, right? Um, if that's all you have though, then you just have a Ponzi scheme. So that's not sustainable. So the second piece is the participants in the economy need to be creating real world value, right? And that's solving traffic, creates real world value. And then the third thing, the participants in the economy need to be earning meaning, meaningful rewards. They need to be participating in the monetization. We've seen glimpses of this, like YouTube, paying the creators um, more than half of their revenue, right? Uh, so we've seen uh, ways that we can make this work. But it's these three things working together that create what I think has been missing in terms of a sustainable economy. It's a game, we're creating a game that has subscription revenue, right? But solving traffic creates value, right? There is real world value. Traffic is a tragedy of the commons. We all contribute to it, but there's no one responsible. But we can make money and drive additional revenue from solving traffic. And what's really cool, we're talking about building a game, but then building real world monetization on top of it. So the revenue model, right, there are in-game subscription fees. Uh, that's the revenue from the gameplay. And what I'm about to show you are the other revenue sources, and we take a percent of all revenue and pay the rest out as rewards, similar to the YouTube model. We're experimenting with additional diversified revenue streams. So the game pieces in our games, uh, you can take them out of the game and trade them. Uh, we take a commission when that happens. Uh, we can earn carbon credits um, because we can prove that we're taking cars off the road. Uh, we can drive affiliate fees. So we have a user base that's very interested in not driving alone, right? So uh, we can onboard those users into services like scooters uh, in the business I did previously, we onboarded a bunch of our users onto a scooter company. But then even better than just onboarding them, we built the habit because they're earning rewards every time they use that service. And we can even boost the rewards. So the scooter company pays us, we pay out the rewards, but we also pay a bonus if, if someone rides a scooter five times a week, right? Donations, I think because we're solving traffic, there will be some uh, donations. Also, there are budgets to reduce traffic and reduce parking load right, both from governments and from private businesses. We did a lot of this work in Miami. Um, I was actually part of a contest to solve traffic in Miami five years ago. We went and talked to everyone. Um, so there are budgets to solve traffic and also uh, solving traffic creates valuable data that we can license, anonymized of course. And then sponsorships and ad fees because we have a valuable targeted audience looking to not drive alone. So again, we have the game but then we're layering real world revenue on top of it. And it's all transparent and we can actually show uh, the benefit and the reduction in cars on the road to anyone coming in to um, pay us money. So how does it work? People earn rewards for not driving alone, right? So in real life, uh, either we're sharing rides, we're on public transit or we're biking or walking or scooting, right? In the game, people can start for free, I'll talk about that in a minute, or they can pay to play. And then in the game, we earn rewards points and uh, we can use those to upgrade and improve our experience inside the game. We could customize our car, you see a customized game piece here. Um, we can also spend the rewards improving our earning. There's all kinds of stuff. So the way the game works, uh, at, in our version one, we're gonna focus on um, 
sharing rides. So two or more people are required to earn. So if, if we're going somewhere together, we get in a car, we're both running our share, we're earning rewards. If we get another person in the car, all three of us are earning rewards and we get a bonus because we've taken an extra car off the road. Uh, four people in a car earns, earns more of a bonus. And what that means is a couple things. One, it scales up to public transit, right? Imagine we're on a train, we're trying to get everyone on the train signed up so that we can earn giant rewards. And then two, it's inherently viral because I need other people to sign up uh, in order for me to earn. So whatever vehicle I'm traveling in, I'm trying to get more people in that vehicle and sign them up to the game. One of the biggest challenges of any app or game is the onboarding, right? People have to pay money, they have to install an app, they have to remember passwords. We're making that easier. So you send me an invite to join, right? I can join, uh, you send me a text or an email, I click on the link, I'm earning right away without an install. That's the magic here, right? But I'm earning points, so I get hooked, right? I'm seeing the points, I'm seeing that I'm taking cars off the road, right? So I get hooked and then I can install the app. Then uh, I can either subscribe or I can play for free. Hopefully we'll upsell lots of people to subscriptions. People can certainly play, pay for, play for free because we can monetize them, right? Again, they're doing valuable work even if they're not subscribing. So people earn points and of course it's viral so they bring other people into the game. The rewards points that people earn, they can spend inside the game. So I can, again, upgrade my car, make it look cool, upgrade my earning. But also for subscribers, they can actually withdraw the points uh, into their wallets and also pull game pieces out of the game or bring new game pieces into the game. So it's simple, but it's got a lot of complexity once you get into it. Fun complexity. So who's our customer? Young tech-enabled urban professionals who commute, right? People in cities who are willing to do technologies. Now, first of all, sustainability is a big thing, right? So solving traffic is uh, sustainability. Two, um, there's a social movement here. We're working together to solve traffic, right? Uh, gaming is a big thing with, with the um, population we're going after. Climate change is a big thing. Sustainability is a big thing. But also, regardless, traffic is something we can all agree on, regardless of whether uh, we think climate change is important or not, right? So, and then there's a, um, a walking game that went bonkers earlier this year. Uh, and onboarded a ton of users. I'll talk about that a little later. But we estimate there are about 1. 1. 1.5 million users of that game who are perfect targets for us. I'm based in Miami. Um, I was on a winning team to solve traffic in Miami a few years ago uh, with this concept. I worked on a company trying to do this concept in Miami until COVID hit and stopped traffic. So Miami will be uh, our major launch city, but of course we'll be in every city everywhere. Miami has almost a million cars on the road a day. Three quarters of the people drive alone, um, which is not that different from the US average. Uh, 28 minutes commute time, population is growing every year. Uh, there's a huge transportation budget just in the county, not to mention the state. And then there are all kinds of private budgets as well. Um, so there's all kinds of money we can tap into. Our initial target is 30,000 drivers. When we did this a few years ago, we got to 15,000 registered users very, very quickly. Um, so 30,000 is not a stretch. And obviously we can then expand to other cities uh, around the US and around the globe. <coughs> Why us? Well, I've already won a competition uh, to solve traffic. I've already worked on a business like this. Um, and now I'm back with a better, more refined strategy. Happy to talk about that. Uh, I'm also a tech guy. I've built, uh, I've been a software developer. I've run product. Uh, I've also spent the last 10 years working with other startups, um, so I really understand how startups work, um, the finances, the operations, the whole thing. Um, I'm excited, uh, and I've had a previous exit, right? One of the companies I started was acquired by VMware, I think about 12 years ago. For tech, uh, a guy I've worked with a bunch, um, Charles Irizarry, he's also based here in Miami. He's launched two venture builders. Uh, one of them traded publicly. Um, and he also has been involved in about 30 different um, product launches. Uh, and two of those have been acquired within the past 12 months. So excellent person to start this with. The actual app, um, you know, we built as a standard game. 
There will be some Web3 pieces, but that's fine. We have people for that. Uh, also, Roger Mayer uh, coming in for operations. He has a Wall Street background, um, is super helpful with the fundraising and the financials, but also with the operations. He's also done a ton of work in the uh, Web3 space. We have some uh, amazing advisors. Salim Ismail is our exponential growth uh, mentor. And then James Ward is all about uh, data and um, the legal strategy around data. And of course, we'll be generating a lot of data with this. Our CTO, Charles, brings a development team. So we're already in development. We're already um, doing customer validation, wireframing the app, uh, thinking through all the fun problems. And then we have a very talented artist, Marlon Portalis, who's helped us with some of the visuals you see in the deck. So we've got a good team. Uh, we're working on bringing on a marketing co-founder. I think that's the, the piece that I really want to get right is the growth strategy. Um, I have some skills at that, but uh, we can always be better. So I do want to call out one thing. I did say game piece trading fees, um, which is code for NFTs and Web3. All that means is ownership, right? Um, so, and we're seeing some non Web3 people get very excited about effectively NFTs. Reddit uh, just launched avatars. They didn't use the word NFT, but they're NFTs. Uh, and in the past few weeks, they've onboarded more NFT wallets than OpenSea, which is the main, OpenSea is a five-year-old NFT trading platform. Again, Reddit people are not NFT people, but they're going bonkers for this, right? Starbucks is about to launch uh, NFTs into their 28 million member rewards platform. Again, not NFT people. Um, NFTs are nothing to be afraid of. They literally just mean ownership. In the NFT world, in the Web3 world, this game called Steppen that you may have never heard of is a walking game that went bonkers. Uh, a million daily active users, five million registered in less than a year. Uh, and just in Q2, they did over a billion dollars in sneaker game piece trading. So this is a real thing, right? Okay, so why now? Um, rewards and gamification are changing real, real world behavior. Essentially what we're doing is taking the traveling population and nudging the undecided travelers, right? Um, unfortunately, this technology has been proven in elections. Uh, we are harnessing it for good to solve traffic, right? Traffic is getting worse globally um, and transportation accounts for a huge chunk of US emissions. Web3 communities are passionate and are looking for opportunities to solve real problems. Um, I don't know, uh, there was a group that sort of sprung out of nowhere online that tried to buy a rare copy of the US Constitution last year and raised tens of millions of dollars and only barely lost, right? Web3 communities love this stuff. And as I mentioned, NFTs are going mainstream even in this bear market. This is, this is all happening. And what we're really focused on is a simple experience so that I can onboard my parents who are not Web3 people and aren't even game people, but I can onboard them and they can play the game and help solve traffic, right? So uh, what we've already done, as I mentioned, I was on the winning team of this competition in Miami to solve traffic. We've assembled a world-class team of founders, advisors, and we're already working. Uh, we've designed the initial art and the app wireframes. We've invested 50K ourselves building this out. And then we're raising a pre-seed, right? Uh, and one of the things we're gonna do is build a community and we think we can build that very quickly. Again, these online communities um, are just waiting for real world problems to solve. We're working on having a first version of the app that will bring in subscription revenue. We're also gonna launch our first game pieces, which will start to bring in some of the trading revenue. And based on that traction um, and the interest, then we'll be able to raise a seed round. So that's what the, th those are the goals of the pre-seed. That's what we're working on. So again, my name is Mike Lingle. This is our share. Uh, we are rewarding people for not driving alone and solving a real world problem, which is traffic. Uh, we would love to have you involved. So please reach out um, if you're interested. Thanks so much.